in education, where young people and old people are interacting and actually having these educational experiences by tinkering with things and by making physical objects and leveraging digital media in order to share and make digital objects, but share the experience of making and teach each other. Um, I think that some of the hurdles that are in the way of that right now are certainly, as usual, financial resources, but also I think it's more of specific examples of how that's been effective. Um, and I think that we can perhaps overcome some of those hurdles by starting some of these examples on our own, even on a small scale. I think, for instance, myself, I'm teaching kids in the basement of my house in Detroit because I haven't had yet had the uh, resources available to get it into schools. I probably work a little bit harder here than I do at school because you want something that isn't just as non-interactive as being in a class for a set period of time and then walking out and not moving around and being able to use those critical thinking skills and thinking, oh, this didn't work, so now we need to try something different. And I don't think you really get that in the classroom because normally in the classroom, it's more or less like, okay, this is right and this is wrong. There's no in-between error that leads you on to a better solution. So I think doing this by example, perhaps broadcasting that example, to prove uh, that's, that effectiveness and to kind of illustrate those learning experiences that kids are encountering, I think would be helpful in, in helping administrators and funders and that sort of thing understand the value of that and also try to find a way to, uh, to fit it into traditional education or alongside education or just in some way enmesh the idea. Um, so I think it's you know showing by example but also begin, those examples perhaps stimulating a dialogue that can continue to take place because I think a lot of people would agree that the current education system, um, there are some difficulties there and we're all working together to try to come up with better ideas to adjust those challenges and one of those ways is to just show something and see how people react.